Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Today, we are diving into the world of Zoho to master the art of creating invoices in 2024. Whether you are a small business owner or a freelancer, optimizing your invoicing process is the key. Join me in this video to explore the key features of Zoho. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that I will need you to do is to simply head up to your Google search for Zoho.com and log in into their website. Right after you do so, simply all you need to do is to simply sign up if you do not have an account and create an account by signing in by using your Google, LinkedIn or Microsoft's account. After that, choose your account that you want to sign in with and then click on continue and there you go. I'm going to choose remind me later and now we are on this platform. So this is basically Zuhu. Here you have everything that you will need from sales, booking, sign, uh, route, etc, etc. But in this specific video, we are talking about invoices and how to make them. So here we can simply click on search and search for invoice. So like that, as you can see, there is more than one template for invoice that you can use. So here I'm going to click on the first link that will give us a free template for invoices that we can actually use in Zoho invoice. So here we can customize our own Zoho invoices by clicking on try Zoho invoice, access to Zoho invoice just like that. And now we are here. So the first thing we, we must do is simply to fill these informations. So the first thing is to simply put here your organization name. So I'm going to put here my name, Titan LTD. Here, uh, let's say that graphic or art and design. Okay, so location, let's say for example here, I'm going to use Morocco. Uh, there we go. Here, let's choose for example like that. Uh, currency, let's choose uh, the currency of Moroccan dirham. Language, English, time zone. Here, there we go. How are you managing invoice currently? Um, pen and paper and get started. And as you can see now, simply all you need to do is to wait for it to create everything for you and to load the dashboard. So here we go. Now we are on the dashboard. So here they are giving you some template that you would like to have. So here they are asking you what kind of invoice template you would like to have the standard one the spreadsheet one the contentional one and the compact one so here i'm going to go with the normal one which is the first one and i'm going to try to upload something like a logo um, let's just use amazon logo for now then click on save and proceed here uh, what are the most like make the most of Zoho enable additional modules that you may use this is and can be changed anytime so I'm going to remove codes and timesheets so here I'm going to add credit note debit note and that's it then start invoicing create invoice and just like that we can now simply create our invoice on Zoho so here this is the invoice I can simply here go to the settings and manage it, the custom fields. So for now, what I'm going to do is to add the customer name. So I must here add a new customer by clicking on new customer and fulfilling these informations. So normally here, it should be either in business or individual. So I'm going to choose individual, for example, here, primary contact, Mr. Here, let's name it, for example, Alvaro Martinez. Here, company name, uh, let's name it Tech LTD. Customer display name, let's choose it to be like that. Currency, uh, the same thing. Customer email, it is, um, let's add it Tech LTD at company.com. Work phone, let's add any random phone, 05, 32, etc. And the same thing goes here. Um, here for other details select the tax we don't need to add one payment terms in 60 days 
uh, in a reporter no uh, portal language English documents if we need to add any documents and then simply the save so now we have added this customer here we can add the invoice number so it's gonna be normally invoice number one uh, invoice date which is today and here the terms and the due date is gonna be basically uh, this one so I'm going to choose it to be for example the latest of April or we can choose literally here 60 days and 30 days so from here to April which is basically 60 days here I'm going to add an item let's say for example we have sold to him um, let's say like package of chocolate and here the quantity let's say we have sold 120 and the rates which is basically uh, two dollar so here we go so basically this is the taxes here we can add new tax but we are not gonna include any but you can actually add your tax so new task task here so tax name TVA and here 20% uh save and basically this is the price after taxes so this is how it's going to look like if we want to add any discount any shipping change charges or anything we would like to add them right here we could simply add them right here as well if there is any other product that you are selling as well you can click this add a new row and you will be able to add a new product to the table here if there is any customer note that you would like to have and simply here would like to add your terms and conditions after you finish with that simply click on save and send and as you can see the invoice will be sent to your customer with the amount of money and the uh, the email of him is gonna be directly be added right here as your email and as you can see just like that make sure also your logo is there you can edit this to be whatever you want you can attach customer statements or as you can see here you can find the pdf file which is the file that you have created as invoice and you can now simply just click here send it and it will be sent to him so let's do that real quick as you can see manually this is the invoice and this is how it looks like now the only problem that we have is our logo is not visible so make sure guys that you have selected uh, a darker version of invoice or you might go for a logo if you have like a logo that is visible on a white screen on, on a white background that will be perfect for you so here we have the subtotal the tva which is the taxes that we have the total the balance due everything is here and perfectly done we can even change the invoice name to make it like uh, name it anything uh, that will suit the case that we are in or leave it as it is and this is basically it it is as simple as that uh, you can create as many invoices as you want on Zuho it is totally free platform it doesn't require any skills or anything from you uh, better than rather than like a good English and a good navigation in web so guys that was it for today's video thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial